Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're joining us, welcome. This is Barbara. We are about to do Threshold Thursday. We have 26 minutes of hard work. We got a warm up before it, we got a cool down after. And yeah, the theme is pairs. Everything's going to be in pairs. Okay? You can use bands or weights and a stability ball. If you're using bands, don't use a stability ball because that will just become far more challenging and not, you probably won't be getting the right form. So if you are using bands, don't use a stability ball. However, you're still going to get the same workout. Um, if you are using weights, you can use the stability ball if you have one. You don't need one by any means. Um, There's actually one, let's see, one, two, two of them, even if you're using bands, you can still use a stability ball, okay? So there's only one that you shouldn't be using stability ball, stability ball if you're using bands. I think this is going to be kind of an intense workout. I'm a little nervous myself because my body is hurting from two other workouts that I did previously this week. I will tell you, yes, my legs are on fire. That's for sure. Okay, we're going to get started here in about, actually about right now is where we're going to get started. Okay, so we're going to do, let me talk you through what we're going to do. And then we will get the music on and we'll get our warm up done. So we are, the, the thing today is, is pairs which means every time we are doing strength, we have two exercises we're doing back to back, okay? We're doing it all for time. Everything today is for, well, you have to count your reps, but it's for a certain amount of time that you're gonna be doing it, okay? So, um, yeah, and then you'll have cardio blasts in between each one that will also be two minutes, because it's what's all about pairs today. Okay, so we have uh, 26 minutes of hard work. Let's get started with the warm up, and, yeah, I'm nervous for this one. My muscles are killing me. So, you're gonna have to have some space, but you will need the ball nearby. We're gonna get into that right away on the first exercise. So, let me get this situated here. There we go. Got some music going. I don't know this song, but we'll try it. Are we ready? Basic warm up. Goodness, my legs are killing me. All right, knees up, knees up. Pull it down. Oh my God, my legs are killing me. Pull back, pull back. Get that body moving. Knees up, one more time. All right. Place those feet down. Whew. Get it off your sides. Everything about my legs is killing me. Okay. All right. Bend those legs. Side to side. Reach. Cross. Those knees. Or take that butt lower. Reach out down to those ankles. Knees back, moving back and forth. Hips back and forth. Hold it on the left, right, left. Turn into it. Let those hips go up and down slowly. Take that arm up to the sky. Look at it. Bring it down. Back up. And down. And bring it back to the center. We're gonna put the hands on the knees this time. Or on the thighs. And you're gonna press that shoulder across. Press, press. Let those knees bend and straighten as you bring that butt across. Press those shoulders. Hold it on the right. Turn into it. Let those hips go up and down. And take that right arm up to the back. Up and look at it. And down. Up. 
for a straight line between your shoulders and your knees. Alright? Keep it going. Count up to eight for yourself. Then you go into knee tucks. You're not following my count. You're counting for yourself. On those
We got three more of those. The next one, we're going to keep those feet as close as we can together. So in three, two, one. Here we go. Feet are close together. Go. Fast, 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 fast. You got it. Be close. Keep them going. Just let it all hang out. You want to keep it strong. As soon as you finish those, 
We are one minute in, guys. As soon as you finish those, go back to that chest press. Good. I'm trying to get something heavier for my chest press, but keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. You're counting for yourself. I've decided I'm going to challenge myself with my weights all the time now. Go as heavy as I can until I can't anymore. Go! 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 Go!
you push yourself to your threshold. This is why I'm giving you liberty to do these the way on your own. Once you find good form, keep it and make it faster. Get that heart rate up. We got 30 seconds left. Cardio, we are going to be doing bob and weave with an uppercut. Okay, so a bob and weave. We don't need the ball anymore, so if you need to move it out of the way, feel free to move it out of the way. Okay, good. So bob and weave is going to be your legs are doing this. Okay, I'll show you from the side. Up, up, up. Okay, so I'm going from side to side, so one leg straight. Other leg straight. One leg. Okay? And then we're going to add in that punch. Punch. So it's like there's a line above our head that we need to get under. Punch. Up. Punch. That rope. We're going underneath that rope this time. Hip. 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 Make sure your legs don't stop. That's where the big muscles are getting some movement. That's what gets our heart rate up higher. It's 20 seconds at a time. We got a half Tabata. Coming up. <clears throat> Here we go. It's countdown's already started. 20 seconds on the clock. Five, four, three, two, one. We go, Bob and Lee. With that punch. Hup, hup. Get it down. Get those legs to bend. Right here. Like this. See how my butt's not back? 
and my back is not flat. Rather, bring those shoulders back, push the butt back, those knees will bend slightly, and then bring it back up. That's our deadlift. Okay, then we have a squat, or like a half squat. Right here, half squat, you bring it up, bring one leg up, take it back down, same leg, okay? Actually, no. Well, you can, you can do either way. So we're doing 10 on each side. So if you want to do 20, one, 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 one on each side, that's fine, okay? Or you can just do 10 on one side, and then you do 10 on the other side. And we're also doing 10 deadlifts. We got five minutes on the clock for this, okay? Got to fire up those big muscles. Are we ready? Five minutes on the clock. Here we go. <clears throat> and ready. Oh, the music's playing. That's right. Three, two, one. Hit it. Deadlifts are on. Ten reps of each. Take your time. You got heavier weights. Go heavy. Leave it in your heart. Leave it in your soul. Leave it in your heart. Remember that butt sticking out. You're not going to go into my time, you do your time. Stick that butt out, bring it back up. Knees are soft, stick the butt out, back is flat. Core has to be up and tight.
you want to think about. You got one minute left.
five minutes of work. Because that very first exercise was supposed to be five minutes and I only did four. So we had 25 minutes of work. Hopefully that works for you. I gotta get my fan back on, sorry. Okay, you ready to stretch? Catch your breath. In through your nose, out through your mouth. <clears throat> All right, let's take that right leg out. That heel is up. My left foot is back. It's about a 45 degree angle, 60 degree angle, something like that. And my body is facing that front foot and I'm gonna push my butt back. Just push the butt back all the way to back. I should feel a stretch down the front, uh, down the back of my front leg. Push that butt back. If you're not feeling it, push the butt back further. Keep breathing. Just keep it right there. All right, now we're in this position. I want you to take your body and just turn it toward that back leg. Keep the butt pushed back. Now that stretch should have switched to your inner thigh of the front leg. Push all your way. If you're not feeling it, push your weight back further. All right. And release that slowly. Come up slowly. All that weight goes to that front foot. Bring that back ankle up to that knee. If you need to hold onto the wall, feel free. Sit down in a chair, either way. And you're just gonna bring your rear end down. Give a little bit of pressure on that outer knee to feel a deeper stretch in that hip and glute area. Sit down a little bit further if you can. Keep breathing. And maybe get oxygen to those muscles. And bring it up slowly and release. Left foot is forward. Right foot back at that 45 to 60 degree angle. My body's facing the front foot. I push my weight all the way back. I feel the stretch down the back of this front leg. Remember, my, I'm looking in the same direction that my toe is pointing. Keep breathing. Now I want you to switch and keep everything where it is except move your head and shoulders toward that back foot. So where that back foot is pointing, that's where you're looking now. If you're not feeling it on the inner thigh of that front leg, push your back, your butt back further. Keep breathing. And release slowly. Bring it up. All that weight goes to the front foot. That back ankle comes up onto that knee. And you're going to sit down into it. Again, hold the wall. Sit in a chair. Whatever works for you. Give a little bit of pressure on that outer knee. Good. And release that. Let's do one more with the legs. Take that left foot behind the right. Keep that back leg straight, that, that left leg straight. Reach that left arm up, and you're gonna breathe up. And exhale, bending over to the side. Push your hips in the opposite direction that your arm is reaching. Keep your shoulder back. You're not crawling forward. You wanna keep everything back and straight. So you can dig down into that where that IT band connects. That IT band connects from, the, I don't want to get technical, but from the hip area to the knee area. That's what causes a lot of knee injuries because people have very tight IT bands. I am one of them. Keep breathing. And release that, bring it back up. Uncross those legs. Take that right leg behind the left. Right leg stays straight back there, right arm up, big deep breath in, exhale and drop to the side. Those hips go the opposite direction that that arm is reaching. Push those hips in that direction, reach that arm, keep that shoulder back. You should feel this stretch from about mid torso all the way through your hip area, which is exactly where we want to feel it. Keep breathing. That back leg straight, and release it back up. Good. All right. We are going to, we did a lot of those rows, so I want you to push your hands forward. My palms 
or one on top of the other, okay? I'm going to tuck my butt in, round out my back, pull those shoulder blades apart. I'm actually pulling on my hand to pull those shoulder blades apart. Really push that back, keep that butt tucked in, keep breathing, keep your head up, and release it, stand up straight. You're gonna take those thumbs together, our hands palms together, thumbs up. Now turn those thumbs out and press back. All right, we are not putting our head back. Head straight up, eyes open. Pressing those thumbs back. Getting that chest area and biceps stretched out. And release that, all right. Big deep breath in right here. Right. Bring those arms up. Big deep breath. Eyes open. Exhale. Relax those shoulders. One more. Keep your eyes open the whole time. Big deep breath in. Exhale. Relax those shoulders. If you need to do more stretching, please feel free to do more stretching. If you go to uh, Mind Body, 360 Mind Body Fitness on my YouTube channel, there are some stretching, like pure stretching um, videos. They're like about 30 minutes long, so feel free to do those. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed the pairs workout. And uh, yeah, I will see you again. I don't know when, but I will let you know. Again, remember, uh, these are pop-ups only through July and August. Um, yeah, so that's it. All right, so thanks so much for coming. Thank Lisa, my liver. And those of you who are watching this recorded, thank you so much. We'll see you again. Everybody stay safe. Keep your distance. Send love out to everybody. Have a great rest of your day, evening, weekend, whatever it might be for you. Bye.